Hey guys, I'm going to be doing my video for my Christmas presents that I got this year. I tried to record it on this beautiful camera, but I don't have a proper place to put it to record, so I kept getting my head cut off. I'm going to add some bloopers at the end of this because some of them are really friggin' funny. Like, I'm stupid sometimes. <laughs> That being said, um, the first thing that I got, and I'm going to show you guys, is my Celtic cross. Um, to me, it is not religious. To me, it is a culture, cultural identity thing. Um, granted, yes, I am not from Ireland, um, and I've never been to Ireland. Like, I physically was not born in Ireland, but that being said, I can trace my family members back to a certain part in Ireland, and we also have a family crest, etc., etc. Other than that, I am a complete American mutt. So, that being said, about all the Irish gifts that I got, <laughs> um, well, my grandmother's name is pretty Irish, so, yes, <laughs> I almost said her name, but... That would be right. Anyway, I have the box that it came in, and it's a Celtic cross with a homemade box, and it was wrapped in this beautiful paper. And yes, it. Oh, <laughs> my mom put from me, me, and Gracie. Nini is what I call my grandma. Me is my mom <laughs> and Gracie is my cute little kitty so also my porcelain box that I got I'm trying to be very careful with it because it's porcelain <laughs> and the other side it all has clovers on it on the outside, it says, Daughter, so many times I looked at you and saw me standing there. I kind of smiled to myself, which really wasn't fair. To keep from you this feeling, how proud I am of you. May all your dreams become fulfilled as mine once did with you. Which is obviously a daughter box for my mom. I also got this Celtic Not Heart bracelet. It's leather with, like, sparkly beads. And... You just kind of unhinge it and then hinge it back onto your wrist if you like. Yes. <laughs> there we go. So yes, I really really like that. And I keep my cross and my bracelet inside this box. It's special to me and I really like it. Next, I got, this is from one of my best friends. It is called Gloom. I know it's backwards on my computer, but I will put a photo of it here. It looks like that. And it says, The Game of Inconspicuous Incidents and Grave Consequences. And it's by Keith Barker. And it says, The sky is gray, the tea is cold, and a new tragedy lies around every corner. Um, in Gloom, you control the fate of an eccentric family of misfits. Your goal is sad but simple. Make your characters suffer the greatest tragedies possible before helping them pass on to the well-deserved respite of death. Play cards with horrible mishaps like pursued by poodles or swindled by salesmen on your own characters while trying to cheer your opponent characters with happy occurrences. The transparent cards review, reveal or obscure the effects of cards below. In the end, the total showing through determining your score. May the most miserable soul win. And they're like Edward Gorey-esque. They're really neat. Awesome score, Ben. Thank you. Um, and so like this, that is what they look like. And like I said, they're transparent so you can see through them. And this is Melissa Sloger, Cadaverous Child. It's a shame when the child dies at a tender age, but sometimes it's a shame when she doesn't. Ooh. <laughs> so this can be played from two to four people. 
and I will also be looking to get that board game. I think it's called like Goth or something. It's very, very cute. <laughs> and I know a friend of mine on Vampire Freak used to play that online. Or would videotape it, and I really would like to find that game. I'm into very creepy, dark, odd, weird games. Another card game that I got. Yes, don't laugh at me. I just got into Monster High Dolls. Sorry. <laughs> but I just did. I think they're adorable. And so my mom got me Uno Monster High Doll Edition. What, what? Yeah, it's pretty cool. And it has, like, skulls dripping with paint and all this stuff. I thought it was cute. Another Monster High thing that I got was the Includes Glow in the Dark stickers. Buy to get one free. Oh, thanks, Mom. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, but yeah, she got me this. It's like a scrapbook. Stuff. Stuff. And it has little stickers. I'm probably not going to open these things because I'm not sure if I'm actually going to collect Monster High dolls or if I'm going to play with them. I do like to actually play with, like, you know, the action figures or anything like that that I collect because it's more fun than just keeping them in boxes and watching them get dusty. But I got my first Monster High doll. She's part of the Dead Tired series. She is Spectra Vondergeist, Daughter of the Ghost. And uh, if you guys are into Monster High dolls, you know what this one looks like. Um, here's the back. They're out right now, so if you look at them, say like Walgreens, Walmart, etc, etc, they'll be there. I am also a huge sports fan. I like the Chicago Bears, I like the Chicago Blackhawks, I like the Cubs. Um, I like anything that's actually Chicago. I love the Wolves for hockey, for AHL, NHL, I'm Blackhawks fan. So my mom got me a Blackhawks shirt, Woo! and they were established in 19... 26 and that is why it says 1926. The cute thing about these is that when I watch games or whatnot I will still wear my collars and I'll look like this and I will still wear my jerseys and all that stuff so it doesn't matter just because you are a fan of sports doesn't mean you can't also be alternative so that was awesome. I'm happy. Thanks mom. Um, my grandmother got me some comfy, comfy pants just to like lounge around in. They're just black. They're big on the bottom. And then it's like a boxer kind of material. And then these are good because when I go outside to do laundry, I will be warm. So these are here. <laughs> these are fleece. I don't really like green, but you know what? Who cares? It's winter. It's cold. <laughs> uh. I have a cat calendar! Cat calendar! Doo -doo -doo. Um, it has a cat on the back, right there, <laughs> and she's in a tub of ice cream. And then another one has its head stuck in a bag of Doritos, <laughs> which is totally like my cat. And you will see here, boop, <laughs> that my cat is crazy. She's adorable, but crazy. I also got some stuff from my friend Dreaded Genocide when I went to Nocturna. Nocturna is a Chicago event. It's a gothic event where there's music and dancing and vendors. And one of my friends, Dreaded Genocide, <laughs> she was selling some stuff and she gave me some little freebies. It says cute little skull bowl. Bow, not bowl. Bow. Then the last thing I got was a card from my friend. It was a New Year's card, birthday card, and a Christmas card because my birthday is in January. So, that being said, that's what I got for Christmas. And here are some bloopers. And everybody have an awesome day, night, morning, wherever you are. Bye! It's a heart. And it has little beads on them. And then... <laughs> And my kitty is walking behind my camera. Hi, Papa. So yes, she might jump up here in a second. In three, two, one. There is my kitty. Everybody meet Gracie. This is my kitty. She's a 
a beautiful gray and white kitty. I did not get her for Christmas, but she is one of the best Christmas presents ever. Can you kiss? Thank you, baby. There you go. I wish they had little gothy Barbie dolls when I was little, but it's okay because I made my Barbie dolls gothy anyway. Um, I actually have one that has like a mohawk and stuff. I was a weird little kid, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> I... Casey! Sorry. Your <laughs> cat, come here. She wants to help me. You want to help mommy? Gracie likes this too. 